Hey guys, what is up? We're going to go over what I take down in my tackle box and then we're going to do a little bit of fishing and I'm going to show you around my little workshop in my garage. So, first thing I put in will be my crankbaits. Crankbaits and jerkbaits. Crankbaits and jerkbaits. Second thing I'll put in is top waters. Got some frogs and some whopper ploppers in there. Third thing I'll put in, Sankos. Some creature baits. Just worm type things that you put on a hook. And these are color changing. So I put those in there. Then I'll throw in hooks. All the hooks that I have. And like, yeah. And maybe some, um, maybe just some barrel swivels or something if I'm catfishing. But that's next thing I put in there. And it's not in order, I just put them in there. Then I always make sure I don't leave without the wear, the pliers. So those are in the top of the box. And then I put swim baits. And then I put, um, looks like these are moving baits. Don't have many. I'm going to ask if I can have my dad take me to Mike Taco Worlds tonight. Don't know. So that's what we put in the tackle box. And then I always leave with the reel. I'm gonna be fishing just a red crankbait, shallow diving. See if I can catch anything. Chase is gonna be down there with us. So we're not fishing for a challenge. We're just gonna do fishing for fun. Now I'm gonna show you around the workhouse. You have some compartments, our three lines, which are 20, 30, and 50. Some little jars, little bins, and then we have the rods up top. This big desk where we keep all our stuff. So we'll pack up and we will head down there. All right. So guys, those of you that know me know that my dock was a horrible fishing spot, but I cut down some limbs off this tree. Now you can actually cast, toito. and we're still gonna take some off. Come look at this toito. So I'll come show you guys the turtle Chase is talking about. Out there, big one. All right, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So I got one on the crankbait. Sorry you didn't get to see me set the hook or anything. We don't, we don't really have, have a camera, camera yet. Gear. We don't have a camera gear because we haven't really got. I can't get a good on. shot right now because you got this fat butt. Sorry, but I got a pretty good one. So I'll get it out and weigh it real quick. Actually, I don't even think I need to weigh this. No, he's not that. He's not big enough to weigh. Yeah. Not big. Enough. Hey, you need to chill out so I just get a bottom, bottom lip. Hook right here, yeah, yeah, except the hook's in the bottom lip. So we got a bottom lip hook. Can't really, I mean, I don't know what really, like, I need to do some research on that. When you get a bottom, bottom lip hook, like, where do you grab him? All right, guys, there it is. There's the bass. Say it's not about a one huge. pounder. It's yeah, about a one pounder. One to one and a half. Push in two. Not, not even pushing. Either. He's not even close to two. Why nope. did I say that? There is that one. All right, guys. First catch of the day. I'm up. 1-0. We made it to a five-dollar fishing challenge. We don't know. All right. No, we are not. See you. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bullfrog right where my pole is. I'm gonna spook him so you guys can. Oh, I'm touching him. There's Mr. Bullfrog. All right, we're gonna go finish the video up back up in the workshop. See you later. All right, guys, so we went out. It's a pretty good day. Actually, no, it wasn't it, but we only fished for like 45 minutes. Now we have to go to my sister's softball game or see if we can talk my dad into taking us to Mike Tackle's world. Um, so we're gonna order new reels. We're getting Shimano either a $100 one or 120 so we'll see about that but yeah guys um thanks for watching hit the subscribe button like and i think we should try for 50 subscribers by the end of the summer and just blow up after that like tell all your friends about it try to get us more than the four subscribers that we have yep. so thanks for watching